You have to understand the, the framework of government must be funded. The Auditor General's office, the Complaint Commissioner's office must have a level of funding that allows them to keep the government itself transparent. Ben, I see individuals and families every day in my MLA office, and I can tell you it's jobs and the cost of living. I believe that there's a reason for that. The world economy slowed down, but over, in the, over the last three and a half years, the failed policies of the UDP government has caused the increase of joblessness in this country. Let us clearly understand that the Cayman Islands sit on two pillars, tourism and finance. We must support those two pillars. We must be proactive in legislation and we must make sure that we allow them to compete on a global basis. And we must look at the partnerships that we can bring into effect to try to create jobs and do jobs in a short term basis, which is desperately needed. If you quickly think of the tourism industry and what could be done through that, we see the cruise piers that are desperately needed and we see the expansion of the airport. If that was to start immediately, we would create construction jobs for the people that so desperately need them right now. But at the end of the day, our tourism product would be improved and we would grow our stayover visitors and our cruise tourists. So this would be a win-win for the country all the way through. Well, an independent candidate is really a misnomer because there's no such thing as an independent after the election. They have to, to form a government and then start their policies and run a country. The party system um, is a team of diversely qualified and like-minded individuals that come together and they put their position paper forward for the country and the electors to see. Um, it gives you the ability to choose what you're going to, to get after the election and how the country itself would go forward with those policies. No one is more passionate about Cayman Brac and Little Cayman than I am. No one cares more for the people of Cayman Brac and Little Cayman than I do. And no one wants more to create jobs and to create a better standard of living in Cayman Brac and Little Cayman than I do. But more than that, I think that when you look at the last 30 years I've lived in Cayman Brac and I've had results that show that I work every day tirelessly to promote a better way of life for Cayman Brac and Little Cayman. I am quite certain that my skill set allows me to continue that type of sustainable development for Cayman Brac and Little Cayman.